Happy Hobby. I'm David Gunnels. Today we're getting into two boxes of 2021 Topps All-Star Rookie Cup. This is a new series by Topps. I love it. I don't know if you're familiar with the Rookie Cup, but these All-Star Rookie Cups, they're pretty awesome. Now this set includes some Hall of Famers, guys like Kirby Puckett, uh, Ozzie Smith, Derek Jeter, Carlton Fisk, Eddie Murray, and it has some cardboard legends in there like Nomar Garcia Parra or Thurman Munson, uh, Kent Herbeck, Mark McGuire. Maybe these guys that aren't in the Hall of Fame right now, but for their teams, the fans of those teams, they were legends. It also has a lot of rookie cards, which we're a big fan of here. We got rookie cards of guys like Luan Diaz, Andrew Vaughn, uh, Cabrian Hayes, uh, all the big ones from this past year, Evan White, Casey Mize, a lot of good ones, Jazz Chisholm, Jared Kalenic, Akil Badu. But there's also a list of active players who aren't yet retired Hall of Famer, aren't yet retired legends, aren't rookie cards from this year. These are active, I guess you would say they're active legends. Guys like Shohei Tani or Albert Pujols, uh, Aaron Judge, Ronald Acuna Jr. A lot of good players in this set. There's only 100 cards in the base set. But there's a lot of parallels. We're going to go through those. So the cool thing about this box is there's 10 cards in the box, but there's one autograph. You're guaranteed an autograph in this box. I've seen a couple boxes where there's two autographs. This one feels like a two two autograph box. I can feel this one. This one's just one. This one's a two autograph. I can tell. I can tell. I, got, I feel it in my bones. Uh, it also has an all-star rookie cup variation. We'll get into that a little bit more. I'll explain that. And then there's also going to be a base parallel and a very and a image variation parallel. So each box basically got six to seven base cards. There's going to have an autograph, a rookie cup variation, which I'll get into later, and a base parallel or an image variation parallel. We'll talk about that. So before I go too far, let's talk about this rookie cup, the All Star Rookie Cup. This is something. It's gone on for 60 years since 1960, rewarded in 1959 rookies for tops. Now, we're going in, the, this is their 70th, 70th year in production, but it's the 60 year anniversary of the Rookie Cup. So they did a special set for that. That's what we're going to look into today. So I want you to look for my tops All Star Rookie Cup history lesson video. I'm going to be putting that up also. Keep an eye out for that. And uh, it's going to give a little more explanation on just what the Rookie Cup's all about, why it came about, what what it denotes and there were some years that there actually wasn't a rookie cup at all at least on the cards and so what years were those and and what years did it skip when did it change from there was a trophy at one point that changed to a cup we're going to talk about that that's part of the rookie cup variation so you'll see that as we go through these now the top 2021 rookies that it talks about these are gold cup nominees these aren't necessarily gold cup winners now they did announce the 2021 all-star rookie cup winners already and we have that list but that's coming out in the 2022 Tops series. So you'll see those next year. Wanda Franco is going to be on there. So when you see that Wanda Franco rookie card in the series one of Tops 2022, it's going to have the All-Star Rookie Cup on there. It's going to make it even more special than it's already going to be. People are already dying to get that card. We're, we're ready. You've, hold, you've held it back too long. Let's go. We want that card. Now, some of these cards are going to be throwbacks to other years, like there's 1987, 1990. It's a little bit more like a Topps Heritage or a Topps Archives, which I love those. Also, there's going to be, um, these are foil cards. So each one's going to be, it's a paper card, but it has that foil on the top. A little tricky for grading, but it's a really cool looking card. And there's going to be a lot of different parallels for those. We're going to have hollow fractors, which are really cool looking, weird, psychedelic looking cards. Um, we're going to have gold cards, orange hollow fractors. So a special, special card. Those are always good. Uh, black and red. And then foil fractors. I don't know what a foil fractor is going to look like. We're going to find out, hopefully, because they're only one in 140 packs. So I'd like to see one of those. One of one. Now, when we get into looking at these cards, some of them are going to have image variations that I may not be able to see on the first look, but on the back, you can look at the bottom on, on the code, and the base card is going to end in 710 on that code and the serial number on the bottom. Uh, but the image variations will be 717. And then the design variations will end in 723, so you'll see those. So now I mentioned the Rookie Cup variations. We'll see those. That's the last last card in each of these packs is a Rookie Cup variation. So it's a Rookie card, and it's going to have, instead of having the trophy, it's going to have the Rookie Cup. Now, the base card will be the, the trophy, but the Rookie Cup will, will be the variation. So each pack or each box will have one of those, so I'm looking forward to that. There's also going to be inserts in one in every 10 boxes. It's the all-time 
rookie cup team. So I'm excited about seeing that. I've seen some of these breaks and Ken Griffey, Ken Griffey Jr. is in there. So that's a, that's a nice one. There's a couple of nice players that you definitely would like to have those inserts of. Another really cool insert series that they have, 1952 to 1959, Rookie Recreates. Now those are only one in every 20 packs. Uh, I saw, I've seen a couple of them. They're pretty cool looking. Basically what it is is these are cards for, of Hall of Fame legends that had they had the Rookie Cup in 1952 to 1959, when the Rookie card came out, it would have had that Rookie Cup on there. But they didn't have it until 1960. So when they did it in 1960, that was a whole almost 10 years where they didn't have that Rookie Cup designation to put on some of those awesome rookies. So they're going back and they're doing it. That's what these are, the rookie recreates, they call that. Now the autographs are really obviously the things we're really trying to track down. Among the players that have autographs in here, they have 11 active players. That's including like Eloy Jimenez, Mike Trout, Juan Soto, Aaron Judge, uh, Lou Bob in here, I've seen one of his. And now there's only five Hall of Famers with autographs in here. It's Johnny Bench, Ichiro, Jim Rice, Eddie Murray, and Rod Carew. Those would be nice to get because there's only a few of those. Then there's 11 legends, what they call legends. So like I said, these are like team favorites, guys like Bucky Dent, uh, Manny Ramirez, and Dontrell Willis. There's also Julio Franco. I've already seen two Julio Francos. I'm good. <sighs> That's a lot of Julio Franco. Jose Canseco is another guy that counts among the legends. And then of course it has 28 rookie autographs. Now a bunch of those I've seen are redemption cards. So if we get one of those, I'm excited about that too. That's a good thing. Rookie card autographs are always good, especially when there's hitters. And there's a lot of hitters in here. Dylan Carlson, um, Jazz Chisel, Jonathan Indian, uh, Jared Kalenic, um, Cabrian Hayes, heard of him? Joey Barr. So there's a lot of good rookie hitters in this, in this set, especially in the autographs. All right, so let's dig into this already. All right, so let's get into this. We've got the two boxes here. Let's go and open this up. Uh, Blade from... At on Wisconsin, those are breaks I do with those guys on Twitter. They do a good job. So check them out. At on Wisconsin, Wisconsin. I was checking to say, all right. So it's first box. Now, if you want to pause on the odds, let me pull it up here. Get you close. Pause right there on the odds. You see the hollow factors and the foil factors and all the good stuff. All right. Now, this is a pack inside the box and inside the pack there's another box a plastic case in here which is pretty cool I like that they do that um, saves it from any uh, pack disturbance you know like as you're opening up you just you know you've seen some of these guys open up and just shred the corners of a whole chunk of cards all right so we're first looking at this is the uh, the top and actually I'm saying it backwards so this is the bottom actually so our first card is going to be Alex Bregman pull this off here so put these out with the protector we'll kind of use the protector and do this as a um, as a little reveal now remember that it, the autographs actually coming I think it's eighth card so we'll go through these singulars so that first one see Alex Bredman this is just a standard base card um, nothing crazy about it but it is that foil uh, look very nice we'll see this. get a little stat going so the second card Glaber Torres all right other base see the I don't see the shine on the on the edges that's what I was mentioning before the edges are a little shiny so our third, Christian Yelich, another base, another base here, it's my boy Juan Soto, you can't beat that. Now there's only 100 cards in this set, which is really nice because you buy a few of these and uh, you're going to have a, a chance to complete that set. And if you don't, then you can um, go on eBay and buy the singles for this. All right, Ian Anderson. Now this is what I was talking about. So. So this is a rookie card, obviously, got the rookie card designation. Has the rookie uh, trophy here. Now, that's the base. Now, when we see the at the end there, the variation, that's going to be the, it's going to have the rookie cup there. Um, 
but this is their base and now he's a nominee. He wasn't necessarily named to it and actually he didn't get named to it uh, for the 2021, but that is the um, base card for that. All right, that's our fifth card. We go to number six, the Julio Franco. I'm sure it's Franco, I should probably go Julio Franco. Uh, that, it's a 1990 look, I believe, yeah. And uh, he's the guy whose autograph I'm hope. You know, it's always weird when you're like, hope not to get a specific autograph, because then you kind of just, um, yeah, let's do this. All right, Ryan Mountcastle, I like that. Now that's, again, the base, and we're gonna go to the second, we're gonna go to the last card, we'll do that rookie variation. See how it's got the cup instead of the trophy there. So Alejandro Kirk is our rookie cup variation card, and you see that foil, that's a foil fractor. Um, I believe they also come in the multiple colors as well. Uh, those are one and two. Six, I think. Come back to that. So Ryan Mountcastle, let's see what this is first. All right, Will Smith with the full fractor. Or maybe it's, I'm sorry, I think I'm saying the, the full fractor, I mean the hollow fractor. It's always fun to get those. Yeah, sorry. That is actually the hollow fractor, not the full fractor. The full fractor is the one of one. So the hollow fractor is the Will Smith. And then our autograph, let's see. All right, so it looks like it's gonna be a rookie autograph. Leody Tavares is our rookie autograph. It's on card. That's an interesting signature. Right? He's, it's. I feel like he's uh, he was on a hill, and he was on the right side of the hill when he signed that one. So that's a nice looking autograph. All right, let's leave that up real quick. Now some of these boxes I've seen do the, um, like I said, have had multiple, either multiple autographs or multiple variations. Uh, the image variations. So I wouldn't be surprised if we do end up getting that. Something like this, we'll put that right there. Oh, of course it doesn't stand up when I do that. So we'll put it here. All right, so this Mount Castle, we'll put over here with the rest of our, we'll get into the second box, put this away. Okay, now we got a little card case. Can use that to ship something in, keep it a little safe. Give me the second box. So Mount Castle, interestingly enough, a little for everybody here. Mount Castle is the only guy. He was named also in the 2021. So this is the, he he won the All Star Rookie Cup for 2020, but he also won it in 2021 because he had not yet exhausted his rookie eligibility. So he's one of very few to be to get to. All-Star Rookie Cups. Well, you know, make a note of that. All right, what am I missing here? All right, again, there's our empty box. Again. Base in the back here, so I'll get this out of the way. Flipped over. Reggie Sanders. Now there's another autograph I saw earlier where I'm like, oh, um, yeah. Now the interesting thing about Reggie Sanders, well, I mean, he was he was a good player. He was an all-star, frequent all-star. But man, did this guy play on a bunch of teams? I just remember in, in fantasy, he was like on a different team every couple of years. It seemed like. I'm just going to do this in my hand instead of the one-by-one one thing because that, that took too long. All right, so now these are the 1990. It's interesting, that first set, there's only one 1990 variation. The rest were, uh, I believe that's 1964. Yeah, the 1964 variation. All right, so, all right, now it's thick right here. It's a little thick, so I know we definitely have an autograph, of course, and we have some color. It looks like it might be a color... Um, Hollow, uh, hollow fractor, which would be an orange, I believe, which we'll see, we'll get to that. All right, so we got Reggie Sanders to start us off in the second pack, we'll get that up here. Get these going. Jim Abbott, I love Jim Abbott. It still befuddles me how there has not yet been a 30 for 30 or an ESPN Films or E60 or whatever 
on his life. This guy had one arm, was a fantastic pitcher for years, one threw a no-hitter for the Yankees, I believe. Like, how is this not a uh, someone we've seen a documentary about yet? Maybe there's one out there and I haven't seen it, but I know it's definitely not 30 for 30. All right, so Jim Abbott. Hall of Famer Rod Carew. Nice. That's, that's really nice. Uh, let's see. Yeah, that's a base card, but man, I, I guess it's because it's a 1987 uh, variation or 1987 look. And we haven't come across that yet. I'm going to put this more in the center. Um, but I do like that. Rhino. I love Ryan Sandberg. And actually, he was, um, it's interesting, he's on the Rookie Cup card because his 1983 Rookie card, that was one of the very few years they didn't have the Topps All-Star Rookie Cup. So now he gets one in this set, which is pretty cool. All right, Jared Kalenic. There we go. I like that. It's a good base card to have. Uh, certainly happy with that one. So here. And again, that's a, this is the base to go with this. Logan Gilbert, another uh, another rookie. Let's see. We got in here is this a? Oh, it's not. Okay. Ozzy Smith. All right. Now we're getting into the interesting one. So remember, when you go through these boxes. Seven cards deep. Seven cards deep is where those are all base cards that we basically looked at. And then it gets into, uh, this should be a variation of some sort or an insert. Um, and then the next, or actually, I'm sorry, the next one is the is the autograph. So we'll save that for last. Oh, look at that. That's pretty. That's pretty. I love Ernie Banks. An orange holofractor. So this, is a, this should be a numbered... 1 through 30. Oh, you know what? I think this is numbered also. Let's see. Yeah, so I meant to say that too. The Will Smith 68 of 99. That's numbered if you can see that there. And then uh, the Ernie Banks. And then our, our variation is the Ian Anderson. So the Ernie Banks one, 21 of 25. I love Ernie Banks too. So it's that orange holofractor. Oh, you know what? Yeah, yeah, 21, 20, 25. These are one in six packs, you find these. Uh, so before I get into that, I don't know, I think see this or not. Yeah, I'm a big fan of Ernie Banks. He's someone who I um, collect. It's my in my personal collection. I have a, a lot of them. I have a few of them waiting to come back from PSA. And a few that were just kind of dinged up and really didn't need the PSA treatment just yet. Let's see. There we go. All right, so this is a variation. I know we saw it earlier. Um, can't find it, but to show you the the cup, you, you get the point. You get the point. Right, put that there. Let's see what our second autograph is. Who goes with Leody Tavares as our coupled autograph? All right, looks like it's going to be another rookie. It's not Julio Franco. Debbie Garcia. All right, rookie pitcher autograph. All right. I, again, another on-card autograph. These are um, these are pretty sweet. Looks like the corner got a little dinged up there. That's not the best. All right. Well, happy Yankees fan at some point will be getting this... Uh, Sent his way. Let's, see, let's put that corner up first. So Debbie Garcia, Leone Tavares. Now, what's what's interesting is will Tops continue to do this? Why don't you sit up right? Will Tops continue to do this year after year, or is this the only year that they're going to be doing that? All right, so one of the things I missed was some of the image variations in this. And uh, so, for instance, the Ozzy Smith, you see that? The Ozzy Smith, this is an image variation card, so that's pretty nice. Also, the Ryan Mountcastle is an image variation. So those two are designated on the back of their codes as 717, which is the Im image variations. Again, the Rookie Cup variation cards we got. Now this is the Ian Anderson, and then this is the variation. This is the base, this is the variation with that Rookie Cup. Also, we got the uh, 
the Juan Soto base I'm happy about and the Jared Kalenic base I'm happy about. Finally, we got the Hollow Fractor of Will Smith. Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. We got the Hollow Fractor, the Orange Hollow Fractor of Ernie Banks, which I'm real excited about. And the Debbie Garcia with the Dented Corner. And the Leotis Tavares signature. The two uh, rookie card autos. Very nice. So 50 bucks for a box. You get 10 cards with two parallels and one auto in that box. It's only a 100 card base set. I really do like these a lot. Um, I'm, they're already sold out on the Topps website because uh, they went within about a week, I believe. But um, they are available. You can see them all over. They're available on eBay. A little bit more than 50 bucks now. But they're, uh, it's a nice set. It was a fun set and it was a, it was a fun rip. And I'm definitely going to track down some more of these uh, base cards and probably pick up some of the singles uh, just for my own personal collection. I might trade away a couple of these. Yeah, trade away the Reggie Sanders. I'm, a, I'm not a big Reggie Sanders uh, personal collection kind of guy. But somebody out there might be, so I'll get that to them. So please do me a favor. Hit subscribe so you can see more of my videos. Go check out my YouTube page. Uh, hit like so that it looks good for me so other people want to see these videos and um just follow me on at david Gunnis on twitter or on instagram and most importantly have <coughs> <coughs> and most importantly have a happy hobby